Hey, Destiny Church, thanks for joining us today. Have you ever been at a place in your life, but you wanted to be somewhere else? I can remember about 20 years ago, I had my own insurance agency here in Republic, but I knew that God had called me to ministry. I was doing ministry part-time. Uh, we were helping Chad and Tasha plant Destiny Church, but I knew insurance wasn't the end goal for me. That can be a frustrating place in life. I knew what I was destined to do, but wasn't sure how to put it all together to make it happen. In other words, I was fearful of what might or might not happen. Jesus refers to this in Matthew chapter 6, verse 11, when he says in what we call the Lord's Prayer, he says, give us today our daily bread. How many times do we become worried or even anxious about what might or might not happen in our lives? How often do we become fearful that God won't provide what we need or even what we think we need? All of us worry and fret to some degree. You know, it's some of us are fearful of uh, our stocks that we invest in. We're worried that the market could crash. And you know what? It could. Others of us fear that the company we work for might sell out and leave you unemployed. That could happen. I think God wants to remind us today to be at peace at the place you are right now. Jesus will always give you what you need for the day. He has a plan and a purpose for your life. So rest in that promise today. Here's a question for you. Do you ever pray about hypothetical things? Things that haven't even happened yet? Or things that maybe just have the potential to happen. Now let me ask you this, have you ever stopped and prayed that God would just give you what you need for the day? And then rest and be confident that He would give it to you. You know, Jesus uses this example of bread because He knew that the Jewish people would automatically reference it to the bread or manna from heaven. If you go back to Exodus, you'll see that God provided the bread, or as they called it, manna, every single day. But God instructed them, don't collect more than you need. And a lot of them did the opposite and collected more. Much like us, they had this fearful mentality that God wouldn't provide for tomorrow or the next day. And guess what happened? The extra they collected went bad. It rotted. God provided them enough for each day because He wanted them to trust Him and depend on Him every single day. So what are you filling the jar or the basket of your life with? Are you filling it with the things uh, that will rot? Or are you filling it with good things, but they're not necessarily the best things? You see, our society teaches us to store up as much as we can for our careers and our lifestyles. And those aren't bad things. But those things were never meant to sustain us. God designed us to lean into Him so that He could provide all the things that we need. In John chapter 6, Jesus says, I am the living bread that came from heaven. Jesus can offer us something that the world could never, ever give us. So here's my question for you today. What are some of the things that you are storing up for yourself because you don't really believe God would provide it. If you have a notepad handy, I want you to write this down. What you worry about will show you who you put your faith in. Whatever that is for you, I want to encourage you to give those things to God today and rest in the fact that He will provide for you and give you everything you need for the day. God bless. Thanks for watching us today.